Test one. Yeah. That's good. I think that's good now. Let it go. This is the last test of the X56A that we're doing in the Lowe's lab. And we are doing a swing test, which is determine the moment of inertia of the vehicle. Moment of inertia, you can think of that as angular momentum. How hard or easy it is it for the vehicle to pitch up and down. So when it's flying in the air, we want to determine, okay, if we deflect the control surface, you know, a few degrees, is it going to rotate sharply down or rotate sh sharply up? Or how much force do we need to apply while it's flying to make sure that we really understand the flight dynamics of the vehicle? It's currently configured right now in what we call the IYY or pitch inertia. So you can see it's swinging about before and after the vehicle. And this is the configuration we're most concerned about to determine this information experimentally. Test number four, Nali, go ahead, swing. Okay, let it go now. IMU is go and recording. Jack is recording. To determine this moment of inertia, we need to know what the weight of the vehicle is, the approximate CG location, and the period at which it is doing each oscillation. We measure the period using multiple different tools. One of them was a simple stopwatch. So we're just counting the oscillation as it's going across the same position. We also have this laser tracker that is connected to a laser ball on the vehicle. We have attached inertial measurement unit on the very back. We also have the onboard system measuring angular rates as well. And so all these independent sets of data, we're essentially just trying to get period. But it's valuable to have different sets of data so we can compare to make sure that we have the best information possible. So we'll compare the accuracy of the laser tracker, the IMU, the onboard systems, even the stopwatch just as a a checking measure to make sure our, our data is correct. We test in two different lengths. This is the lengths you can see those hanger plates which is connecting between the pivot and the vehicle. What this helps us do is allow us to obtain two independent sets of data. It's essentially two independent tests we can do for not a lot more work to get some good data to work with. After we wrap up and bring the test article back down, we're going to analyze the data to make sure that we have all of our period information accurately, make sure we calculate our CG location accurately, and we account for all the weights. And once we do this uh, analysis, we'll hand over this information to update our finite element model, we'll update our control laws, and hopefully we'll be able to fly the vehicle in shortly thereafter. <laughs>